Hi, welcome to Heine's Cheese Chalet. I'm Missy Horsfall, Director of Tourism Relations here at the Bunker Hill Cheese Company. We are delighted to give you a tour of our cheese making process. Our first stop is a unique mural painted along the wall of the chalet. It tells the history of cheese as well as the Dahlwalder family who own the company. We invite you to take one of the brochures describing the painting. The mural of the history of cheese making that hangs in Heine's Cheese Chalet was painted in 1970 by Tom Miller, an internationally known local artist. This self-taught artist was famous for his Swiss-themed murals and storefront paintings, mostly in his hometown of Sugar Creek, Ohio. Bunker Hill Cheese was purchased in 1935 by the Dahlwalder family, who were Swiss immigrants. Heine's Cheese Chalet is our retail store and tourist destination. The name Heine is a nickname for Heinrich, and was chosen to be the brand name of our cheese until 2018 when we changed our branding to Bunker Hill Cheese 1935. We are a third generation family owned company and have supported our local farmers for as long as we have been in business. Until 2016, all of our milk was delivered in 10 gallon milk cans to support the local Amish farmers. Although increased regulations have forced us to use bulk tanks for receiving milk. Bunker Hill Cheese continues to use milk from local farms, creating over 50 varieties of all natural cheeses. There are 11 steps to our cheese making process. Once our milk is received, it is sampled and tested per FDA regulations and then pumped into one of three milk storage silos, each holding up to 35,000 gallons of milk. Once we are ready to begin a cheese recipe, the milk is pumped from storage silos and sent through a separator or large centrifuge. It is the large dome top equipment against the back wall that you see. Every step of our transferring process is done through sanitary stainless steel pipes and pumps. The pasteurization process is next. The milk is heated to a minimum of 161.5 degrees Fahrenheit and held at that temperature for a minimum of 15 seconds Once the pH has reached its designated value, the whey is separated from the curds and pumped from the cooking vats to the finishing or cheddaring tables. Leaving just enough liquid to cover the curds, the rest is removed and pumped into a storage tank to be sent through its own separating and reverse osmosis process to condense it down to whey. It is then sent to a local processor and eventually dried into powder. To continue cooling, water is added to the curds and whey that are left. This also washes the curd and gives the cheese a smoother, sweeter flavor. Once the temperature is achieved, the remaining whey is removed. The next step is salting and flavoring the curds, which are then augured out of the vat into the forms at the end of the table. Once the forms are filled with 50 pounds of curds, they are placed into a press that compresses the curd, squeezing out the remaining whey. In a 40 pound block, there can be as much as 12 pounds of whey removed. The form stays in the press for a minimum of 12 hours, after which the cheese goes on to packaging and aging if the recipe calls for it. That concludes our tour for today. Thank you so much for visiting us here at Heine's Cheese Chalet. Be sure to check out our cheese room, the copper kettle room, and the rest of our store. Have a wonderful day.